Uh, when you asked this question, I thought about attending uh, my first tasting probably about six months mm. into the um, into my time in the industry, and uh, one of the um, people exhibiting made a comment to my colleague that all you needed to do to mark up wine to wear was just put a butterfly on the front label. But the idea of that happening now um, is absolutely wild, and you just can't imagine somebody saying something like that. So there has been a huge amount of change. People understand that women. Um, aren't just a single group and so how we approach and how we sell to them um, has become more sophisticated and changed. I do think there are really important steps being made within the industry to improve diversity and inclusion but there's definitely more to be done and I think by working in partnership with other places like the WSET and across the sector not just in wine and spirits and using a whole industry approach you know we can make really big strides and make a difference. So I feel like it has really evolved but I've been in it quite a long time you would hope over 24 years you'd have seen some progress uh, and I certainly have um, mostly in the gender space I would say and that's not to say there isn't still a lot of work to do ab across all minorities. There has been a lot more visibility around the topic so it'll be interesting to see in the next couple of years whether any action is taken on that. When I joined the WSTA it was um, mostly men, um, whereas now I've been here for quite a few years now and it is women overpowering. So i um, really happy and excited about that because it just shows the direction we're going in. I've seen more willingness to have important conversations about the disparities that exist and really examine ways in which we close them for people that work within the industry. I've seen the emergence of more prominent female leaders who women within the industry can look up to as career role models. But what I would hope is that this change continues to happen at a faster pace. And I also hope that it continues to happen through a truly intersectional lens, meaning women of all backgrounds are also moving forwards and upwards within the industry. What I love about my role is that ability to operate at a major scale, deliver at pace, work with the best in the business, people who are phenomenal at what they do, but still make kind of individual personal connections that um, really are at the heart of, of wine and, and what it is that we all love about it, the magic, is, the magic of wine, the magic of the product. Uh, I would say to other women it's a really fun and social industry to be in and I've been in a few others and this definitely uh, trumps that. If you come to a WSTA event for instance you are in a room full of like-minded people who do actually want to share the positives and negatives of the industry so it's a really welcoming and enjoyable industry when you get to know. To work with and meet some of the people behind many of the brands that we know and love is truly inspiring and what I would say if you are the same, join the industry, find your tribe, find your mentors, and there's nothing that is not possible if you are a woman. It's a very varied industry, so you can marry your skills with your passion and your interest. So you don't have to be a winemaker or a distiller. You can be a scientist or a farmer, an educator or an accountant. So there are, there are many options to be in what is a really fun and sociable industry. Enjoy it, go for it. Uh, don't don't let anything distract you or stop you or think there's a, an obstacle just go all in 100% and you'll enjoy it I promise <laughs>